On this wintry tree talk, we are discussing a tree very easy to identify by the bark, yellow birch, Betula alleganensis. Um, a lot of our birches, we've, we've talked, talked about several uh, birches here on tree talk. A lot of them have um, leaves that are obovate, um, serrated leaf margins. They can be a little triangular. Yellow birch has a, a relatively large leaf to me and a, and a relatively wide leaf. Um, and this is the best I could do, sorry, because, you know, it is winter time here. Um, but, like our other birches, most easy to identify by the bark. You are not going to mix up this bark here. You can see this kind of golden, sort of pale yellow color. Um, and it will peel in these horizontal strips like this. Um, and these uh, strips are uh, supposedly excellent for fire starters, even when they're wet, I have heard. Um, never tried it out myself, but hey, maybe I should tonight. Um, also, uh, like our other birches, we have very distinctive lenticels. Um, and I, I think they're mostly horizontal on most of our birches. You can see here on the bark, we have these really uh, long ones. But again, you're not going to mix this one up because of these strips and how yellow the bark is. Uh, our other birches um, don't have that yellow bark. On the younger stems, we have those lenticels visible still too. Um, and you can see here, they're kind of more round um, and small. And then we have the spur um, shoots uh, uh, like some of our other birches we've seen that in too. Um, so yellow birch is, um, it's called Betula alleganensis for a reason. It is um, really at home in the Allegheny Mountains. Um, it's sort of, uh, I'd say, central Appalachians and then up north in the kind of northeastern United States, Great Lakes kind of area, and then um, southeastern Canada, um, like a lot of our uh, other trees that we talk about here. Um, it is in, has a pretty broad tolerance to different habitats. I find it mostly in mesic habitats. Um, so we're talking kind of moderate moisture or um, relatively close to streams. Um, it's kind of a, a, a big mountain species to me. I really only uh, see it uh, frequently uh, up in mountain habitats. Um, it is moderately fast growing. It doesn't get super, super big, um, but uh, sort of a medium sized tree. Um, it does not regenerate very well in dense leaf litter. The, um, it pumps out a ton of seed, like a lot of our other birch species, um, but those, uh, the roots of those very young um, uh, sprouts are, are not very strong. It's, it's hard to puncture through deep leaf litter. So um, you'll see it a lot on nurse logs, where we have a tree growing out of a log uh, because uh, the, rog, the log is rotting and that uh, the, the root of the young yellow birch can, can puncture through that and start growing. And then as the, the log rots away, the tree is up on stilts, um, which is pretty cool. And it'll also regenerate well in kind of more bare soil too. Um, as far as uh, uses go, um, it's one of the more common uh, or um, more valuable uh, birch species. It has heavy wood and pretty hard wood, um, so it's used for a lot of flooring, um, things like that, sometimes for pulp and, and other things too, a little bit, uh, you know, flexible uses. Um, for wildlife, the buds and the leaves um, are eaten by things. Uh, the seeds are very, very small, and they're eaten by small mammals and birds too. Um, but, uh, and birches are pretty good for um, uh, insect biomass. They, they uh, are eaten by a lot of different insects, so good base of the food chain, uh, supporting a lot of other species. So there you have it, yellow birch. I really love to see this tree, super easy to identify, um, and uh, I'm usually having fun when I bump into it up in the mountains.